Well, this is a room full of lovely people that were brought here by two very, very lovely people. Um, and Dietmar asked me not to embarrass him because he's used to that. So I'll, I, uh, I won't embarrass you too bad, buddy. But I've known Dietmar for uh, a long time and uh, we've gone through some pretty crazy life changes together. Well, not together, but there was that one time in that hotel room with the one bed, but uh, we won't talk about that, Dietmar. Uh, Dietmar's a special person, um, and uh, he's also very deceptive. There's some things about Dietmar that I didn't know that kind of came out, that uh, he was quite the uh, rabble rouser when he was a young child. A lot of police visits to the old house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, get him to tell you those, uh, tell, ask, him, ask him where he stashed the automatic weapons. <laughs> and uh, Marion's no, uh, she's no straight lace herself there. <laughs> She may, her ha may or may have not uh, gotten high with a bunch of rock and roll guys from Canada the other day. I don't, I can't say for sure. <laughs> but um, two very awesome special people who we all wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. And um, thank you guys so much and congratulations on 25 years of marriage. Is that right, 25? Yeah. <laughs> Dietmar is 50 years old today. He doesn't look a day over 41, and uh, you look real good, Dee. And uh, it's good to be here. Thank you so much for inviting us to your first ever Static Roots Festival. I think it's a smashing success, and uh, maybe we'll come back. So once again, a big round of applause for Dietmar and Marion. Thank you. Uh, Dietmar was also the, uh, the first person to, to bring me to Germany. Um, I remember uh, getting an email on Facebook or MySpace or something at the time that said, you know, I see you're coming to England, would you come over and do a house concert in Germany? And I thought, well, okay. And I just pictured this like little sweaty German that, that, like in this little apartment that smelled like sausages when I walked in. <laughs> That's what I had pictured in my head but it was actually a really tall, sweaty German that smelled like sausages. <laughs> no, it's not true. It's this beautiful woman picks us up in this really nice car and, and, uh, and I go to their beautiful home and meet their great daughter. And it was, it's fantastic. So um, he, uh, he, he first, I guess, heard this song we're about to play on, um, on a, uh, where was it? On the internet? Oh, you just had the CD? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so we heard this song and he really liked it and, and um, I thought that was really cool and it started this uh, lifelong friendship. So this one's for you, Dee. This is called Carol.
Carol died five years ago, giving birth to our only son. Her mama and daddy and me put her in the ground, November 21. Sometimes late at night, I sit at our bed in the window. Wish now somewhere. Thank you.